To Ohio State, Michigan is that school up north. To many in Michigan, they won't even say Ohio State, just calling them Ohio instead. Both teams have defined excellence in their long and storied history, and the Wolverines and Buckeyes set to do battle in the game. Time for ESPN College Football, and we are expecting a dandy tonight. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. We're set for another big game at the big house. College football from Ann Arbor is coming up. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and helping me call this one is Kirk Herbstreit. And Aaron Andrews also joins us on the sidelines. Tonight's matchup is presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We'll be seeing the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Michigan Wolverines. Should be a great one. The folks from Ann Arbor going against their bitter rivals from Columbus. And it's almost time for kickoff. But first, let's send you down to midfield for the coin toss. Presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. At the 30. Down the sideline. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. For Ohio State, Kirk, you and I talked in the team meetings this week with the offensive coordinator. Let's talk about what they hope to achieve in this football game. Their goal is to not lean too heavily on either the run or the pass. They'll go with whatever's working, and they've got the talent to do that. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 11. Quick pass and he's right there to knock it away. Number 25 breaks up the pass. Third down. They'll line up at the 11. Third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. failed to produce any points. But the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. First and 10. Ball on the 40. They might be coming here. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. 
And he's tackled right around the 34. Almost six yards on the play action. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Come on. Cut. Can't find anyone open. They'll make the sack. I think the offensive line got a bit confused. You know, they're seeing that the blitz is going to be able to come up, but I think they communicated to be able to pick up the blitz. The problem is you cannot leave that defensive end free. And that time, you could see the speed that he had to be able to get to the quarterback. Here's third down. Four yards to go. Ball on the 34. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. The Wolverines call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 28 yard line. First down. They come out in a five wide set. And he might want it all here and does. And it's caught for the touchdown. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. Michigan up six and he hits the PAT so a short three play 34 yard drive and they put up seven points 